Hello YouTube, it's me Malu here, 808, and it's been a long time I recorded, um, so recently I got the new, um, Windows 10, and, um, it's pretty good, you, you can do whatever you want, I got the new Minecraft Windows 10 beta, and, um, that's mostly it, that's what I'm showing you. Um, I can't wait to use this as my gaming thing and whatever. And you probably be wondering, where is Maluhia808? Where is he? Where was he? And it's been a tough time lately and it's kind of rough. But um, I'm just showing you some things here and there that, that I can help you things. Um, I got the Alienware X51, you probably noticed right here, the alien icon. Um, so, um, I've been hearing a lot of people having problems with their Alienware, and I'm here to help you guys. So, I hope you guys, um, um, like this video, share it, and um, I'm going to teach you a tutorial. How to upgrade your Windows 10. So, when you guys done upgrading, hold on, let me, I quit it. Um, when you guys, um, upgrade... You guys will see a little icon or saying your upgrade is successful. But if you don't, when you reset your computer, when you turn it on, it goes completely black screen. Like you can't even use it, you can't even touch it, or whatever. So there's uh, there's few ways you can do it. Um, here we go. Um, there's few ways you can do it. Let's go to the Alienware. X51 black screen Windows 10. Sorry. There are a few ways that you can go. You can go to this website um, right here and sorry. This guy right here gives you the tutorial how to fix your Alienware and all that kind of stuff. And I'm sorry the dogs are barking in the background. Um, this guy uh, used his TV and basically he used the TV and it only could work through the TV and he recommends you guys I'll show you to go to your systems or not the system the uh, go to your guys I think this is it yes yeah this is it go to your guys device manager go down here and disable Intel. I recommend you guys do it in a TV if you want but there's another option and I'm gonna have to go exit my video okay so I hope you guys enjoy and this is the second option for you guys okay this is my number one option if you guys use your guys HDTV and um, want to have a regular want to fix it from there I recommend you guys go through display adapters disable the thing um, and only let the thing um, run for NVIDIA uh, it's very confusing what they did and I, it took me like four hours to fix my computer but I did it and I didn't do it like that I didn't use my HGTV because to be, to be honest I don't have HGTV so the other option is um, turn off your computer and um, go to Alienware as a boot menu so I'll show you guys and hope you guys um, understand what I'm doing okay okay you guys you guys shut down your computer so the next step is go to you guys um, back um, cables and check out your HDMI's um, right now my VGA there's a VGA cord. Well, um, well, I took, um, put it away. My VGA cord is now useless to me because I tried it with my computer with that and it, it won't work. So my second option is use your HDMI VGA cord or whatever you call it and put it in your HDMI in your, um, PC monitor or whatever is. So what I recommend you guys is if you have a TV, 
HDTV, use your, um, you're gonna have to use your PC monitor too with this. Um, use your HDMI cable, put it on your HDTV, and try it out. And, and if it works on it, that'll be good. All you need to do is the steps I told you before. The next step is, is kind of hard, and you have to be very fast on it, okay? So, I'm gonna turn on my computer, and place it where it is, and this is my controller. Um, this is the second option. And today is my birthday, so I might get a new computer here and there, and, and maybe show you guys to do it there in another computer. I don't know. It depends. Um, so here's the second option. Turn on your computer. And you see that air alienware logo? Press F2 real quick. You have to be very quick to press F2. Um, so you see something like this in your alienware. Forget alienware X51. I don't know if it works on Area 51 or whatever, it's, but this is my suggestion. You see all this icon shows you um, main, advanced, security, boot, and exit. One of them can get your computer back to normal. So go to your boot, go to secure uh, boot control, secure boot control double click it and disable it just disable it it will say first enable because that could be the reason why you cannot boot your Windows 10 but when you see that right here don't enable it just disable it and that's it that's all you need to do hope you guys um, um, understand it because a lot of people has confusion, a lot of people are raging, quitting, whatever, or they're thinking it's the end of the world. And sorry, my camera is all crappy here and there, and this is my Alienware X51. This is proof that what I'm doing is right. If you guys have any more problems, go, um, I'll link a video to it. So, I'll link to the guy's YouTube channel too for helping me with this problem. So all you need to do is yes, save your, save you, and yes, and reset. And let's see how it goes. And oh, just to warn you guys, your Alienware logo is going to change to this red eye. It usually says Alienware in the top, but it's going to change to a red eye. So this, it works, it perfectly works, and um. Uh, Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy. Oh, well, hopefully for you guys, you enjoy the video, and I'll meet you guys later. Okay, you guys. Um, so basically, that is all I can show you. That's the two tutorials of the video of how to fix your Windows 10's black screen issue. So the other option is the final option to me is go to these guys' links. I'll bring in two links of the video. The Alienware Center. Uh, and if you have really don't like the Windows 10, I recommend you maybe recover. You have a re Windows 8 recovery disk for your Alienware. I recommend recommend you guys use that recovery disk, and that's all you can use to make it a Windows 8. That's all I can say, and um, hopefully you guys understand how to do it. It's gonna be some tough training, but it, I hope you guys understand it. So thank you guys for watching, this is Molokia808, and please subscribe.